Coverage of the National Football League is on the air. Tonight, it's all on the line. We play for the Lombardi Trophy. Hi again, everyone. Brandon Gunn, along with the man who has had to stick with me all season long, Charles Davis. And Charles, the anticipation, the hype, the media coverage, all in the rearview mirror now. We can finally get down to playing some football. Yeah, don't worry about that, partner. I'll ride or die with you anytime. <laughs> you know that. But here's the best thing about this. Everyone talks about trying to keep things normal as they approach for Super Bowl. There is no such thing as normal. The pageantry, the hype, all of that is more intense than anyone could ever imagine. What you're trying to do is embrace it in one way and make sure it doesn't totally knock you off your game. That's why the night before the big one, teams often switch hotels, try and give those guys that last chance to breathe a little bit before they go out and play. On first down, McLean. He's going to be dropped following a pickup of seven past the 30 to the 32. A nice run here early on. It doesn't take a great play call to realize you want to establish a guy of his caliber with runs like this early because they'll pay dividends as the game progresses. A good run, got seven on first. Here's second and three. Now a fake on the give here as they try the run pass option. Taking it right down Broadway. And he's going to score. It's a Titans touchdown. Striking first in any game is very important, but on this stage, the biggest of stages in the Super Bowl, that's huge. You fully expect the other team to battle all the way through, but when you're the one setting the pace, jumping out in front, that has to feel great for the entire organization. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. That'll be taken in the end zone. And he'll take it back to about the 19-yard line. Here's the Chicago offense coming back out onto the field. They trail early on in this Super Bowl as they come up first and 10. Now a fake on the give here as they try to run pass option. Caught out left side by Robinson. And he'll get this up to the 30-yard line. So this will be accepted as he moves the offense backwards. Now a handoff here to his running back. And he'll be taken down at the 18. Four yards there on the carry. Gets it back to second and 11. And that's one of the reasons you like to blitz even on rundowns. It confuses the blocking assignments. It doesn't allow those offensive linemen to get up to the second level. Second and 11 now. Rosen steps away to his left. And he's got this almost to the 40 before going out. 22 yards there, a first down. On any given pass play, you never know exactly where your exit points are going to be. On this play, he was flushed to his left, still on the run, able to accurately throw the football for a nice first down. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Out of the gun, here's Josh Rosen. Blitz coming, and down he goes. Now, we talk about players blitzing all the time. I often laugh and sometimes call it just straight-ahead pursuit. What a running start right back to the backfield for him. Yeah, it really didn't give anybody a chance to get up there and stop him. No, I mean, that's really, really difficult. You're asking a whole lot anyway, but when he gets that kind of a start and comes through clean, oftentimes the advantage definitely goes to the defensive player. Right. To try again after the sack. Rosen. Oh, it's a screen pass. It's complete. 
A good job defensively to hold that to four yards, and now it's third down. I wonder what was going through his mind when he got the play call. He just got sacked on the previous play. He knows they're coming after him again. A little bit of guts to stand in there, take the hit, and successfully complete the screen pass. Really well done. And the Titan defense steps up here, and down he goes. Man, he got in there so quickly, Charles. What could the offense have done to adjust and account for that? But what you're hoping is that you figure out and you see and get a clue that maybe there's going to be some pressure coming at you, and you change the blocking schemes. Maybe you go to max protection. The biggest one is maybe you bring your running back in to try and keep you clean. But in that case, that didn't happen. Zero accountability, and a sack resulted. They'll start the drive with Love here. And he'll be taken down at the 18. It's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent gain. At the 18-yard line. Six yards on that last play. Here's second and four. On second down, Love. And he's able to get up here to the 26. That one, a first down pickup of eight. So many teams want to throw the ball in this situation nowadays, but I love watching a team that has enough confidence to go ahead and run the football in that situation. That's almost a tendency breaker. Down, 18, Gator. They'll run on first down. Godwin, and not much to speak of. Call it a one-yard gain up to the 26. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. Let's go. At the 26-yard line. play got just a yard here second and nine from the 26 shotgun handoff now for love trying to run inside but nothing there back-to-back -back stops make it third and ten and he got off the end there very quickly to make that play yeah, it was almost like the bullet train wasn't it i mean just zoom quick 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 and what a terrific play holding them to no gain and it looks like we've got a dime set here defensively. Six DBs in the game. Hey, box drop, box drop. Let's go. Looking to throw. Kent. That'll be caught by Jordan Leggett, his tight end. That's a first down pickup for Tennessee on a gain of 10. That was a route run not just with dexterity, but with intelligence. Found the hole in the zone, made sure the quarterback saw him, and was able to make the sure catch and flip the down marker back to one. Come on, set. So from the 36 now, first and 10. We own it. We own it. Protein spell. Kill, kill. Look at me. Go up. Go up. Hey. On first down, here's Love. Looking for a seam, but finding none. He'll get back to the line of scrimmage, and that's it. Akeem hits that time on the tackle. And as a defensive end, getting off the ball quickly, swarming to the football, making a tackle, that's what we saw right there. Yeah, that's what their job is. And really, a lot of the time, they have to throttle back a little bit in the run game because you know those defensive ends are like in a sprinter stance. They're just headed straight for the quarterback. That was good recognition on that play to hold them to no gain. 
On second down. It's low. Now that play is blown up. Losing yardage back at the 35. It'll go as a loss of a yard, and it'll set up third down. That didn't appear to be a run blitz. He just darted in once he saw the run develop. That appeared to be a case of see ball, get ball. Seventh play of this drive coming up, but a long way to go on third down. From the gun, Kent. To the right side, complete to Taylor. And he went nowhere. Well, he went backwards, back to the 33. Losing two yards that time, and now it's fourth down. On fourth down, here's the AFC Pro Bowl punter the last two years. That's Brett Kern to kick it for Tennessee as he's on to punt for the first time tonight. Try to get one more in here before the quarter breaks. On first down, McLean. And he's going to be brought down on what will be the final play of this first quarter. After one, seven nothing on EA Sports. Here's second and nine, just a yard on that last run. And he'll give it here to his running back. And not a whole lot to speak of there as they'll bring him down shy of the 20. Only gets three yards there on the heels of the one-yard pickup. Sets up third and six. Brings up third and six. On third down, Rosen. This one complete into the hands of Higgins. His first catch of this Super Bowl, and it'll be good for a first down. I know many people like to throw to the tight end, maybe in a little flexed out position because he creates mismatches with his size. The slot receivers do the same thing with their quickness, their speed, and their route running savvy. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. They'll run on first down. McLean. And he's got some space here. And he takes this one down almost all the way to the 30. It's a gain of 34. That looked like a two-deep coverage, which we call cover two. And what that really means is you have corners, what we call rolled up in about a five-yard area on the outside receivers. Then your safeties are back closer to the hash marks near the middle of the field, somewhere around 10 right to 12 there. yards right back. Right there, so right if you there. can break through the first level, you've got a chance to run before you encounter any type of resistance from the safeties. We saw the example of it right there. To throw is Rosen. It's his target. It's Taylor Gabriel. And they'll be inside the 25 now at the 24. It's a pickup of six. Brings up second and four. Six yards was the pickup on the last completion, so here's second and four. 's just getting the snap off and one dancing to his left and he can't find a receiver and he's brought down how about that part his second sack of the game and that puts him in some pretty good company 17 guys have had two sacks in the previous 52 Super Bowls but only three have had the record number of three sacks in this game and we've got the list here if he gets another one and everyone behaves nicely we might just list those out for him Check, check, watch 54, watch 54. 80. 
behind. Safety's creeping. Mike's by four. Mike's by four. Mike's by four. Clear the quarter. From the gun on third down, it's Rosen. And Robinson with a big catch. His first catch of this Super Bowl, and it'll be good for a first down. That was a nicely run slant route, and what the receiver's trying to do is make the defender think he's going upfield for a deeper route, and then breaks it off, usually after about three to four steps, and cuts towards the middle of the field, and now what he's trying to do is use his body to keep the defender away from the football and give the quarterback a really nice target. A first trip to the red zone for the Bears. They come up first and 10 at the 16. So the offense a little antsy. The flag comes out and a five-yard penalty. So that'll back him up five. A false start backs him up five, first and 15. Going to give this time to the tailback. And now they're inside the 10 as he's brought down at the 9. It's a solid pickup of 11, and it's second down. That was huge after being behind the chains on first down to make this second very manageable. Yeah, how much pride do you have in an offense on first down to get that kind of yardage? Because it actually opens up your playbook on second down. You can run it. You can throw it. You keep a defense off balance. I like that phrase, stand ahead of the chains, and they're doing exactly that. On second down and four, Rosen. Now the pressure gets there, and he goes down just inside the 20 at the 19. I'm starting to feel for that quarterback back there. I mean, you know me. Normally, don't have a lot of empathy for the QB, right? In this case, definitely. He's been on constant duress this entire game. I don't know how he's surviving back there. And to think, there's still a long way to go in this football game. Now the Bears going to call the first of their timeouts. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this second quarter. The Bears on third down. They've been okay two for three thus far. This is third down and 12. Six there on the run, but it brings up fourth down. Despite the blitz, they're still able to pick up a nice, solid game. The disadvantage of blitzing often alters the normal spacing and run fits from these creases like they were able to explore right there. Well, that's something of a pick-me-up, and the offense certainly has struggled, but they do get the field goal before half to put three on the board. Yeah, you don't want to be shut out, but let's face it. Those three points, that's not going to solve all their problems either. That'll be taken in the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. Here's the Titan offense now as they make their way back onto the field. They're out in front. Last time they had to punt it away. We'll see if they can add to their lead now. They don't want to go out and, and punt it away again. This team now wants to get a cushion, put people away. They want to run their offense and have it end up in the end zone. It's a seven-yard carry to set them up with a second and three. They'll operate from the 32-yard line here, second and three. Two minutes remain in this opening half of Super Bowl 55.
Coming up at the half, a reminder, we go back to Orlando to check in with Jonathan Coachman. He'll have a look back at our first half, as well as a look ahead to what's coming up later this weekend. And the running lanes non-existent in this first half as they'll stop him behind the line. It's a six-yard loss on the play, and it'll be third and ten. Escaping the pressure right. And they're able to get this one across the 35. An 11-yard pickup for the Titans and a first down. As a rookie quarterback, that's exactly how you endear yourself to your teammates. Give it up for the cause. It's also how you end up on the training table, too. Yeah, it's a catch-22. Coach doesn't like it. Teammates love it. Where do you fall on? Well, I fall on wanting to endear yourself to your teammates. But pick your spots. Be smart about it. They need you for the full season. Yeah, the rookie's going to learn as he goes. Seven yards on the play, and that'll make it a second down. I think the best offenses love to get the ball to their running backs in open space because they have the ability to make people miss, and they also have the ability to run over people. And if you do that throughout the game, after a while, they might just run through some of those tackles and go a long way. Well, we saw him shed a nice tackle on that play. Able to get seven on that first down pass play. Second and three. They turn to Love on the handoff. In on the stop, the former Georgia Bulldog, Roquan Smith. Well, we just saw a great example of what we talked about with his coach prior to the game. He's definitely one of the better linebackers at reading a play and flowing to make the stop before it turns into something big. The Titans on third down. They've been okay, two for three thus far. This time they face a third and two. He's going to be a yard short. Needed two, but only got one. Fourth down. Now the Bears are going to use the second of their timeouts as they get it right at the 32nd mark of this first half. Here's Brett Kern now as he'll punt it away for the second time. Chicago getting ready to go as they take the field. You're under 30 seconds to go. Field position not great. Time to call it a half, wouldn't you say? Well, you know we all have that little extra gene that says let's push the envelope a little bit, right? What needs to be going through the play caller's mind right now, a potential fumbled snap that can get returned, a strip sack that can get returned, right? Any of those types of plays, that should be a deterrent to calling something that could get you in big trouble. That last catch short of the marker by just a yard leaves him with a very manageable second and one. Uh, middle, middle, middle. Right. And this time they'll just keep this on the ground. And he's going to have a first down, but not sure it'll matter as the clock will continue to run. Four yards the pick up, first down. And offensively, they'll take the timeout with six seconds left in the second quarter. Show of the Super Bowl abbreviated, ready to go for the second half. Both teams ready after the halftime spectacle, and we are back underway in Super Bowl 55. This fielded a few yards into the end zone. And the decision to come out is going to cost him five as he's taken down right at the 20. Oh! 
Get it ready. 60 feet first. Two, 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 X3. 218, jump. On first down, Godwin. And the window closes quickly. He'll only get up to the 22-yard line. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. They tried a quick hitter inside, but that one was swallowed up because what they're hoping, this big defensive lineman will take the bait and move laterally and open up a crease that they can run through. Didn't happen on that play. The run only got a yard. Here's second and nine. Second and nine now. On the comebacker, complete. It's Taylor. His second catch of the Super Bowl, and it's good enough for a first down. Partner, this is one of the best routes anyone can have in their offensive playbook. Tough to defend because you think it's a go route, and then he breaks it back on the comeback. There's one other thing you need as well. A well-thrown ball. Exactly right. Gal, the guy who has some precision in throwing the football because of the timing of the route. They'll run on first down. It's Love. And they've got it well across midfield, down to the 40 before it's all said and done. Chewing up big yardage. Another nice gain there. This one goes for 20. Sometimes it's hard to believe, but there are times this game is about patience, isn't it? Has had the game he expected, but that run there, that may get him going. I was just going to say, maybe that gives him a little juice because you're right, he struggled, especially in that first half. Yeah, and I know the great ones always think to themselves, just hang in there. I'm just one big carry away from busting this open. That's a good start for him. They'll run again with Love on first down. Able to fight through one tackle. And he only manages a couple here down to about the 38-yard line. They know that old expression, it's not my night. It hasn't been his so far. I don't know if the legs are a little bit heavy. Sometimes having to hang out all day and play doesn't exactly play to your advantage, but it's been a tough go for him. And every time he looks up, somebody's there defensively. That was the same case on that play.